So this is our rat and stoke trap. We've run hundreds of rats through this here at Lincoln just to get really comfortable with it. We know how the rats are going to behave with it. We've designed this as a detection device. It's going to be sitting in the landscape trying to pick up those invading rats in an otherwise rat free landscape. So how it works is that rats can approach it from either end. They can walk it down the tunnel looking to get to the lure and then automatically they are humanely euthanized which means when our ranger comes to grab this trap they get a perfect specimen to do an autopsy on to find out whether it's a male or female that way we know whether we've got a breeding event around us or whether it's just a lonely rat and we don't need to worry too much. So our rangers know this trap has gone off because of this node right here. This is part of the Outpost Remote Reporting System. We've worked really hard to maximise the distance that these traps can talk to each other through these nodes. What that means is we can have a whole lot of traps across large landscapes, but the nodes tell us which ones to service, which ones to leave alone, and that saves a whole lot of cost. So what we have on top of here is our Zip Motor Lure. This is an automated lure dispenser. It's dispensing fresh food lure into the trap every single day. We can leave it sitting on top of the trap in the middle of the bush for over a year, and we don't have to come to it. Here, we have it as a standalone pre-feeding unit. And when you pair it with a trail camera, it becomes part of a detection device as well, because all the animals that are eating that lure, we're taking their photo as well. Zero Invasive Predators is a charitable research and development entity. We're rolling out the prototypes now. ZIP has teams on the ground here in Lincoln, up in the Marlborough Sound, and at our large site down in South Westland. So we'll take these products, we'll get them out into the field, and we'll see how they go. Predator-free projects all across the country have been crying out for this kind of technology. The funding from Predator Free 2050 Limited has enabled us to rapidly develop these products and we'll start supplying these to those projects by 2020.